Hey guys, uh, Swamp Fox News coming at you. Like, subscribe, and share. This is going to be a real quick video. I just wanted to say a couple things, and I'm going to show you this video, which is disturbing to me. Um, and it probably will be to you, too, to you guys, too. But I wanted to give an update. You know I did a video the other day on how to repair a water heater yourself and save $650. I just wanted to say to anybody, um, leave me a comment. In, in any of my videos, I try to read all comments. Sometimes it takes a long, like I got 40,000 views on that one video. So, man, it's got 600 and something. I haven't been able to return to everybody's answer yet, but I will. But if you go to a page, like if you go to that video um, and leave me a comment in it where it says, again, uh, re uh, how to repair a water heater yourself and save $650. If you leave me a comment to say, hey, how do you fix this? How do you fix that? Now, you know, as far as home stuff goes, I'm not an appliance guy. I don't fix washers and dryers and um, stuff like that. But everything else, anything for a home, anything, you know, that you would need to do electrical, if you need to know how to, you know, repair, remove a breaker and put a new one in, a wall plug, a light switch, anything you guys can think of that y'all need help with that you'd like to do yourself, maybe install a ceiling fan, remove a ceiling fan, install a new one, remove a light, install a new light, um, fix a broke water line. Man, it's so easy to fix water pipes. Listen, save yourself some money. Let me know what y'all need to know. I'm going to go through and do little how-to videos on stuff over time. But if there's anybody who's got a project that needs to be done and they th they're thinking they have to call a handyman and spend all that money, let me know. And I'll sure let you know if you need to spend that money or not. Um, and so, uh, you know, that being said, I'm going to show you this video. Um, I'm, in my next video, I'm going to leave my phone number for my page. And then if somebody needs to call, you're welcome to call too. Um, I've already put it out there a couple times. I don't know it by heart. I'd go ahead and put it out. I meant to write it down before I started this, but I didn't do that, so sorry. But um, all right, watch this video. It's very disturbing how now in Tempe, they're arming the their police uh, motorcycles with AR-15s. So they're just riding around, you know, out and playing open with AR-15s. Listen, I'm all about the Second Amendment, but there you you hear them in government all the time saying, "Why do we need AR-15s?" Why do we need guns like that? Well, why do the police? And that's why we need them, because they got them. Okay? I had a friend of mine tell me one time, so if you could have an F-16 in your yard, you'd have one. I said, dang, Skippy, I want everything to fight back that they got. <laughs> if I could afford one, damn right, I should be able to buy one. But anyway, that was kind of a joke. But all right, I love you guys. Watch the video. We have our motorcycles here in Tempe that are outfitted with the AR-15 uh, rifle. And, uh, you know, the reason for that is that we realize that there are high-risk situations here in the city of Tempe that uh, we may need to get to um, faster than we normally would in a patrol vehicle. The advantage of having these rifles on the motors is that motors are able to get to certain places and um, faster than the cars would. Uh, for example, they could ride on sidewalks or they can get into... Uh, apartment complexes or you know just kind of get through intersections a little bit faster so that we can uh, address that um, high-risk situation um, um, fast in a quicker manner. We know that we've had those scenarios in the past where there is someone with a weapon similar to that one that we have to address and we we want to be able to our overall goal is keeping our community safe okay keeping our community safe from harm and we do that a number of ways just another added resource that when? we have now is a motorcycles equipped with the rifle. when have you ever kept anybody safe when when have y'all ever been there before the crime happens when seconds count cops are minutes away on that note y'all have a great night i love everybody god bless everyone